Good morning, respected CEO sir, teachers, and my fellow students. The increase in the world's population represents our victory against death. Today is World Population Day, where we aim to increase people's awareness about various population issues, such as the importance of family planning, gender equality, poverty, maternal health, and human rights. World Population Day was established by the then Governing Council of the United Nations Development Programming in 1989. To this day, we continue to celebrate World Population Day on 11th June. This year's World Population Day focuses on the unfinished work of the 1994 International Conference on Population and Development. We are consistently trying to accelerate our efforts to achieve these unmet goals. To start our day with the blessings of God, I invite Ashwarya for the prayer. Father of our mercies, I offer you my studies and other duties. Bless our institution, our teachers and our students. May this goal always be the home of truth, wisdom, faith and excellence. Help me to build the whole community. Inspire me to choose good and for a truth. Kindly lead and bless us all the way. Amen. Thank you, Ashwarya. Loyalty is a pledge to oneself and others. I would now like to invite Vaiga for the pledge. India is my country and to all Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I am proud of its rich and very heritage. I shall always strive to be worthy of it. I shall give my parents, teachers and all elders respect and treat everyone because see to my country and my people, I pledge my devotion. In their well-being and prosperity alone lies my happiness. Thanks, Vaiga. Our brains are working 24-7. So to give it some food for thought, I would like to invite Rowana for the thought of the day. Good morning to one and all present here. Today's thought for the day is a person's most valuable asset in life is not a brain loaded with knowledge, but a heart full of love with an ear open to listen and a hand willing to help. We all generally give more importance to brain knowledge and our whole life is concentrated upon it. But however, we forget the most powerful and simple assets of our life such as helping others. So I repeat, today's thought for the day is, a person's most valuable asset in life is not a brain loaded with knowledge, but a heart full of love with an ear open to listen and a hand willing to help. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Romana, for that wonderful thought. To update us on the current state of the world right now, I invite Kevin for the news. Morning all, I will be your host to update you with the latest news. A Spanish study has cast doubt on the feasibility of herd immunity as a way of tackling the COVID-19 pandemic. The director of the FBI has said that acts of espionage and threat by China's government pose the greatest long-term threat to the future of the USA. An advisor to the head of the Russian Space Agency has appeared on court in charges of treason. Roscosmos said in a statement in Russian that former journalist Ivan Safronov's arrest was not linked to his current job there. The future of Asia's biggest budget airline, Air Asia, is in significant doubt, Auditor Ernest and Young has said. A network of giant internet-enabled balloons from Google's sister firm, Loon, is to provide internet access to remote areas of Kenya. It will provide 4G coverage so that people can make voice calls and video calls, browse the web, email, text and stream videos. Chelsea's further strengthened their position in the Premier League's top four with victory over Crystal Palace in an entertaining encounter at Selhurst Park that included a stunning long-range strike from Wilfried Zaha and a rare goal from Christian Benteke. 
Thank you all and have a nice day. Thank you, Kevin, for updating us with the latest news. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. So now I invite Daniel with a book review. Good morning, respected CEO Sir, teachers and my fellow students. My name is Daniel and today I will be giving you a book review on one of my favorite books, Jeremy Stilton and the Kingdom of Fantasy. The Kingdom of Fantasy follows Jeremy as he finds a mysterious musical box decorated with precious jewels in his attic. The box transports him to another land. The Kingdom of Fantasy. Geronimo, along with his talkative little frog called Scribble Hopper, is tasked with the perilous act of waking up the Queen of Fairies, Blossom. But to do that, he must cross six kingdoms: the Kingdom of Witches, Mermaids, Pixies, Giants, Gnomes, Dragons, and the Tribe of Trolls, and so many other things he is afraid of. To reach the final destination, the Kingdom of Fairies. This book was illustrated really, really well. The pictures of the disgusting trolls and also heavenly fairies that sucked me into their world with ease. The book was trickled in a variety of colorful fonts that grasp our attention and highlight the important things. There are also so, some interesting myths mentioned, although they make no difference to the plot. It was quite subtle addition to the story. The Kingdom of Fantasy is a children's book that pushes the boundaries and makes reading a completely alien experience. The vivid illustrations and the carefully crafted story come together to make a wonderful Kingdom of Fantasy. Overall, I would rate this book a 10 out of 10. It's the perfect children's book for all ages. Even my sister likes to read it from time to time. Thank you for listening and have a nice day. Thank you, Daniel, for that wonderful suggestion. We'll be sure to check out the book. Adding a new word to our ever-growing list of vocabulary is important. Now we have Benelakshmi for the vocabulary word of the day. Good morning, everybody. My name is Zanishmi. I am studying in grade 3. Today's word of today is community. Its meaning is a group of people living in the same place. Once again, I will repeat today's word of today is community. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Danilakshmi. The real problem is not the population explosion but what the population is doing. So I would now like to invite Hari Chandana for the student speech. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development is the world's blueprint for a better future for all on a healthy planet. On World Population Day, we recognize that this mission is closely interrelated with demographic trends including population growth, aging, migration and urbanization. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres a very good morning to all. The theme of the assembly today is World Population Day and the theme of World Population Day this year is based on safeguarding the health and rights of women and girls around the world, especially during the time of the COVID-19 pandemic. World Population Day, which seeks to focus attention on the urgency and importance of population issues, was established by then Governing Council of the United Nations Development Program in 1989 an outgrowth of the interest generated by the day of 5 billion which was observed on 11 July 8, 1987. This year's World Population Day calls for global attention to the unfinished business of the 1994 International Conference on Population and Development. 25 years have passed since that landmark conference where 179 governments recognized that reproductive health and gender equality are essential for achieving sustainable development. In November, UNFPA together with the governments of Kenya and Denmark will be summoning a high-level conference in Nairobi to accelerate efforts to achieve these unmet goals. 
On World Population Day, advocates from around the world are calling on leaders, policymakers, grassroots organizations, institutions and others to help make reproductive health and rights a reality for all. I would like to conclude my talk with a meaningful quote. Instead of controlling the environment for the benefit of the population, maybe we should control the population to ensure the survival of our environment. Thank you. That was a really good speech, Harishandana. It was very interesting and I really enjoyed it. To educate ourselves on world population, Tanya will now show us a video. Our tiny thoughts of Swiss for a special program. First, we have Tanya and Tasmia Jelly. Next, we have Jessica with a spectacular performance. 11th July, World Population Day.
Thank you, Jessica. Now we have Joanna and Vangshika for a fabulous joint act. Kannana kanne, kannana kanne, yen nidu saayava. Punnana nenjai, punnana kaiyal, upola nevava. Nagathu mundren kala. Kannana kanne, kannana kanne, yen nidu saayava. That was magnificent, you two. Now we have Malaika for a special performance. She is Madhuri. She was an orphan but one day was adopted by a family. In the beginning, everyone was happy. But after a while, when the family underwent poverty, this young girl was forced to work. She worked as a servant in different homes and at the same time was missing her childhood. Even though she was too young to work, she was being pressurized a lot by her parents. These children are missing their precious times of their lives. Yes, their childhood. So let's all build a barrier against child labor and save them all from such a cruel situation. As we all know, child is not meant to earn but to learn. Thank you. everyone, everyone looked absolutely amazing. A teacher takes a hand, opens a mind and touches a heart. Now I would like to invite Molly Miss for the teacher's talk. Hey all, good morning. Myself Molly Joseph. Hope you are all safe and secure. Today I am here to speak about a special day to raise awareness of population issues. On July 11th, every year is an event known as World Population Day. It has been celebrating from three decades. The aim of this day is to focus the world's attention on the importance of population issues. The Governing Council of United Nations Development Program recommended its introduction in 1989. On 11 July in 1987, the world's population reached 5 billion. Family planning is a human right. This was the focus of 2018 celebration. A basic human right is to be able to get safe and effective family planning, gender equality and women's empowerment depends upon it. Furthermore, it is a key factor in reducing poverty. The theme of 2020 is to raise awareness of women and girls' needs for sexual and reproductive health during pandemic. How can we tackle this situation? Let us think for a while. Governing bodies of every nation should come up with the practical solutions to pacify the solutions at hand. Let us all join and be part of this campaign. Thank you all. Have a beautiful day. Thank you, Molly Miss. Now I would like to invite our beloved CEO, sir, to give us a talk. Yes. 11 July is observed as World Population Day. It was Dr. Casey Sakharia, who was the senior demographer at World Bank who gave the first suggestion that the day world population reaches 5 million, we should observe that day as World Population Day. It happened in 1987 and it was the governing council of United Nations that decided to observe 11 July as World Population Day for 1989. It's mainly to give awareness to people on various population issues such as family planning, health and human rights. China is having the highest number now, closely followed by India. And I believe uh, India will surpass that number in the near future. In the animal kingdom, they have a rule, survival of the fittest. So that eco-balance, eco-diversity is maintained by 
now. But we also have a problem. We never try to maintain this uh, ego balance. So when we disturb the balance, nature retaliates. And then I mean, it could be the fury through calamities such as tsunami or uh, you know any such uh, natural disaster. I, I, I think action and reaction are equal and opposite. Newton's third law of uh, motion is applicable here. Um, I, I do hope that uh, the awareness should continue. And as uh, school children, you also have a role to play, especially in generating awareness among your community and your friends of me. I wish you all the very best. Good luck, happy and pleasant weekend. Thank you. Thank you, CEO, sir. I would now like to extend a warm thank you to everyone that made this assembly amazing. A big thank you to all participants for their wholehearted effort. And with that, I hope you all have a great week ahead of you. Thank you.